So Sertain herbicide is a new corn residual herbicide. Uh, we're uh, anticipating launch in 2024. Uh, we've got two chemistries, both that are highly effective on water hemp. Uh, we also have broad spectrum control of you know, 79 grass and broadleaf weeds. Uh, but it's really the formulation technology that makes this unique. So we were looking for an opportunity to, to spray a PPO that has burn down qualities, excellent at weed control, but as soon as the corn emerges, we can't apply because it injures the corn. So we wanted to basically have an encapsulation process to protect the corn plant, but still maintain that weed control. We started down the path in 2012 looking at liquid encapsulation, which is very common, it's been used, and there's products on the market today that use that technology. Uh, we couldn't get the weed control and the crop safety we needed. So we used a novel technique, a solid encapsulation technology, and that enabled us to get, again, the weed control and the crop safety. So a chemistry that previously was cut off as soon as the corn spiked now can go early post in addition to those pre-emergence applications. The, the capsule in water, in solution, in the jug or in the tank has some uh, flexibility to it, I guess is the best way to describe that. Once it's applied on the acre, it dries, it cracks, and then it opens up and basically exposes that active ingredient so that rainfall or irrigation can activate it in the soil as a residual herbicide. So it's kind of an interesting way, and it, it behaves differently than a liquid encapsulation product in that sense. If we take that, that safflopanacil chemistry, we find it in products like Sharpen and Verdict and, and even in, in Zidra Pro, and we, we apply it over the top of, of corn, uh, you know, we're going to get some serious burning injury because of the way that, that works. So again, excellent in controlling weeds, but as soon as the crop comes up, we have to cut it off because of the injury. So the encapsulation technology really gives us that flexibility to now go early post with a chemistry that was not uh, allowed to go, uh, you know, after the crop was, was emerged. No, so we, certain uh, herbicide will be a, a residual herbicide um, that, uh, you know, could be applied pretty much with whatever standard nozzles that are out there, whether it's, uh, you know, flat fan or whatever. Basically, we don't have a lot of restrictions there. Um, so it, it's user-friendly technology. And I would add, for those guys that want to put on, uh, you know, the weed and feed applications with liquid fertilizer, we've got great uh, liquid fertilizer compatibility with Certain, not only with UAN, but also with ATS, which tends to be difficult to mix with. So we're, we're happy about the results for that. I think it'll be very useful for those applications.